It's your favorite YouTube dealer. I appreciate you guys for stopping in. We got something new from Dax today. It's called Lonely Dirt Road. I'm a little bit late on this because I didn't even realize that it dropped, but it popped up in my recommended today, and I definitely want to dive in. Just based on the name, I could tell that he's still on his real arc. That's what I'm going to call it. My man's on his real arc, and a lot of this shit, it hits home, and it's, it's very relatable. So I'm enjoying it. Let's dive in. Let's see what this man's cooking with. I like this right off the bat, but hold up. I feel like the tire looked like it was flat. When I need space. Is it me or does the tire look like it's flat? I know this is so, okay, it, like, okay, hold up, hold up. Don't that shit look like it needs some air? Bro, my man better be careful. He can get in an accident driving around like that. Need space. <laughs> That's where I go. A place to escape that nobody knows. Where I feel free to let things go. And face this evil that burdens my soul. I bring my hatred. I pack my pain. All the emotions I cannot explain. It's where I found God and feel that hole. It's he, myself, and I. See, his melodies and shit are dope. But I like when he does the, like, it, there's a certain thing that he does, like, when he says the God and, like, these last couple of bars, there's a certain point that he hits where that shit is really fire. All the emotions I cannot explain, it's where I found God. It's where I found God. Like, the way that he just, he goes through that bar, it just, it, it hits. All the emotions I cannot explain, it's where I found God. And feel that hole, it's he, myself, and I. On that lonely dirt road, I needed somewhere to take my mistakes. I didn't want my family to see me cry. They'll never know I'm carrying all of this weight. Dealing with the pressure of trying to provide. No sign of struggle can show on my face. They ask if I'm okay, I just flash them a smile. Fire up that engine to take me away. I'm speeding through emotions with every mile. See, I like this because it's kind of, it feels almost like a continuation of his song about being a man, about always having to put on that strong front, about always having to be like the, 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 the shoulder for everybody else in your family, right? And never really getting a chance to be emotional yourself. And it's not so much that your family wouldn't accept it, but society has kind of pushed us in this direction as men that we feel we need to fill a certain role. And we can't be the emotional one. We can't be the person that's going to cry or going to break down or is like, yo, I'm going through some shit because we need to be that rock for everybody else that's going to go through stuff, right? We need to be that rock that our family can rely on. And although you can still be that, even if you end up being, you know, emotional at times and you're going through some shit, but it, it doesn't feel that way, right? All the, like, like the way that society has been built and the way that you feel like a man is supposed to act makes you think that if you do that, you're not fulfilling your role properly. So we try to really put it all on. And so he's basically saying, you know, I go on this lonely dirt road and, you know, I can't show my family my problems. I don't want them, I don't want them to see me cry. I don't want to, so like he rolls out here to kind of get all of that out. I like this. I like this. Dak's been on one lately, man. M much respect. They ask if I'm okay, I just flash from a smile. Fire up that engine to take me away. I'm speeding through emotions with every mile. On that road is where I find my peace. I remember daddy told me about some times like these. On that road is where my mind's at ease. I keep driving life away, rejecting change. So when I need space, that's where I go. A place to escape that nobody knows Where I feel free to let things go And face this evil that burdens my soul I bring my hatred, I pack my pain I like this All the emotions I cannot explain It's where I found God and feel that hole It's he, myself, and I On that lonely dirt road I tried my best to plant the seeds and then I watered everything that was in my life. But as a man, the only flowers that you get her when you're six feet under on the day you die. Oh, I 
Facts. I feel the pain my father felt. It's finally sinking in. Looking back, all I see is his eyes. He said that house is not a home unless you build it on respect with some kids and a loving wife. If these walls could talk, I'd bet they'd say it's all my fault. That I don't try hard. That I ain't mad enough. That I ain't standing up. That I just burn everything that my hands touch. Oh, if these walls could talk, I'd bet they'd say I'm the blame. That I'm the one who put myself inside of all of these chains. That my addictive personality is what ran them away. And that I hurt myself by staying quiet and not explaining. And I Bro, his writing has also leveled up so much over the last couple of years. Like, this shit is so well put. And I feel him on the addictive personality shit. And I feel like everybody, to an extent, has an addictive personality, just some people more so than others. And it, it that's, yo, that shit will tear you apart, man. Because you could become, like, if you have a strong enough addictive personality, you can become addicted to anything. It could be eating unhealthy food. It could be something like drugs, alcohol, stuff like that. Like, I feel like certain drugs can turn somebody that doesn't even have a very strong addictive personality into an addict because they're so over the top with, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, as far as, like, for an example, let's just say that you do heroin, right? Like, it's a dopamine release, if I'm not mistaken. And I, if, I, if, I, if I'm not incorrect, it also, like, plugs up. Like, let's just say in your head, dopamine gets pushed into your system. Then there's other things that kind of suck up dopamine, right? If, I, if I'm not mistaken. And it kind of keeps a good balance in there, right? So you're happy, but obviously you're going to go through a roller coaster at times, up, down, just depending on what's going on in your day. But then when you take something like heroin, it pumps a whole lot of dopamine, but also blocks like the vacuums, we'll call them, from sucking up the dopamine to keep that balance. And you just get flooded with like euphoria and just a good feeling and just not caring so much. And so that will lead anybody to an addiction, 100%. But there are people that don't have to go to drugs to, to fall down that same hole of being stuck on shit. And it could be anything. It could be watching corn. And I say that with a C because I don't want to get flagged. But you guys know exactly what I'm talking going on the hub, shit like that. It could be eating food. It can be like for some people, these things release a whole lot of dopamine. And although it doesn't plug the vacuum, you know, it's not it's not like a drug. It is at the same time like that shit will get you and keep you locked into a certain place and you can go down a bad path. But obviously, when it comes to alcohol and drugs, it just gets that much worse. One who put myself inside of all of these chains, that my addictive personalities were ran them away, and that I hurt myself by staying quiet and not explaining. And I'm broken in places I can't even see. I know there's gotta be a heaven, cause the hell that's in me is taking a dangerous toll that I'm paying with all of my soul. When I need space, that's where I go. Let's go. Yo, this was a really dope song. Like I said, this this real arc, real life arc, whatever you want to call it, that Dax is on, like this shit is it. This is it. This is where I hope he continues to make music in this 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 arc because he's really good at it. He's got a voice that works for it. He's got the good the the, the good sound. Like he might not be singing singing, but the melodies and the use of his voice on point it gives you the feels for what he's talking about the writing is there like the whole the whole shit just hits in the way that it should and i feel like it's very relatable to a lot of people so this this is some stuff that i hope that he continues to make because i i, I feel like it's it's a good path to go on and you're also helping a lot of people because people just hearing these songs is very therapeutic but also for him as the artist it could be very therapeutic to write and record and release these songs because it, it just it puts you in a certain mindset. So I like this. Shout out to him for this one, without a doubt. Let me know what you guys think down below. I appreciate you guys. For anyone that does not know, I go live every single day. Twitch.tv slash Dwayne TV. The link is down below. I've been playing a lot of Silent Hill 2. We're going to hopefully beat that sometime this week. Fridays, we do music reactions. Saturdays, we mix in a little bit of music, but we also watch other videos. If I'm not gaming, we'll just watch crazy shit. Like, literally anything. If someone brings through a, a video of a police stop where they think it was controversial, we'll watch it. We'll talk about it, discuss it. Things that happen amongst the world. Drama with streamers, YouTubers. Like, we talk about all that stuff on the live streams. 
it's, it's a variety of shit that happens on there. So if you guys ever want to stop in, that's where I am literally every single night, like 7, 8 p.m. Eastern on Twitch. Every once in a while, I might take a day or two off, but it's we're, we're pretty consistent on there anymore. So hopefully I'll see some of you guys. I appreciate you. Take it easy. Stay safe. I'll catch you in the next one, homies.